Mmm. I can't wait to dig into this slice of pizza. Hey, Mr. Goose. Um, <laughs> there's a recording. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Dang it. Guess this is gonna have to wait till later. <laughs> me too. Hey, guys! It's me, Music Clues. Hey, subscribers! It's Ethan here. And, uh, welcome to, uh... Uh, switch starter guide. So at when this video comes up, it will be the March third, the three year anniversary of the Nintendo Switch. Can you believe it? We're already three years into the Switch's lifetime, and it's still that better than the <sighs> Wii U. Wii U. Wii U. You have to make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's for that's for making a false advertisement, Tendo. <laughs> I guess that was a funny joke. Uh, but anyways, see all seriousness. So me and Ethan are here to tell you some of the things that you need to know if you're new to the Switch, which you know picking it up with whether you're picking it up for the first time ever, planning to get a new Switch. Or plan to get it along with Animal Crossing New Horizons. We're here as three year Nintendo Switch veterans who got the system at launch day one. What to do, mm -hmm. what not to do, yep. accessories you need to get for your Switch, and some games that we would obviously recommend. Yep. So, um, without further ado, let's get started. So, obviously, if you're getting a Nintendo Switch, you're going to be getting several different accessories. Accessories for the Switch. Uh, Switch. You obviously have your Nintendo Switch dock. Mm -hmm. I'll pop them up on screen so you guys can see. Uh, obviously, the Switch itself. Yep. Um, and you'll get a cord, co cord that you'll use to plug into your HDMI as well as an AC adapter. Of course. Now, uh, I should note that if you already have a Wii U AC adapter, that will not work with this system at all. Nope, unfortunately, guys. Sorry. Uh, so you will have to get a totally new AC adapter. Also, word of warning, I would highly advise taking good care of your Switch dock and your Switch AC adapter, because if you don't, well, I hope you don't mind paying a lot of money for a new one. Yup, so you guys gotta be careful with it. Otherwise uh, you're you're met you're you're doomed. Pretty much. Or should I say you're toast. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So for my uh, now there's two different versions of the Nintendo Switch. And I actually thankfully have both versions. So I'll show you. I'll have Ethan hold this one. Okay. So this is the regular Nintendo Switch. This one one is the one that you'll probably see a lot out in the wild more often than, uh, well, one Ethan has here. That's the Nintendo Switch Lite. And there's a key difference between the two systems that I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so, oh, with the Nintendo Switch, you have several different modes you can use. Oops. You can take off these controllers. They come with the system. They're called... Joy-Cons. You can put that down for now, bud. Um, and these Joy-Cons can be used to play games like this for motion controls. Like, for example, Just Dance or maybe even Mario Tennis. Um, or you can just use one and play like this. But, uh, honestly, me and Ethan don't play in this mode very often. And I'll tell you something, guys. When I experience those controls like that, I'll tell you something. It's even more complicated you actually play than your actual gaming controller. Oh, hey. Or even Wii Remote. Yeah, it's harder than the Wii, Rem uh, Wii Remote. And that's saying something, because playing sideways on the Wii Remote is pretty hard, I'm not going to lie. Although, yep. though Mario Kart is kind of easy. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so, uh, you can remove these. And then, you have the regular Nintendo Switch system, and you can play this in handheld mode, which is where you put your Switch up like this, and then you can just play with your Joy-Cons just like this, mm -hmm. with two in your hands. Yep. Or you can attach these Joy-Cons like this, click, click, and ta-da, you got portable mode, which is the main mode for the Nintendo Switch. Yep. Now... Now, Ethan, try removing the Joy-Cons off of the Nintendo Switch Lite. 
Yep, there's a clear difference. The Nintendo Switch Lite is just like the Nintendo 3DS. You can't, uh, you can't remove the Joy-Cons. Yep, not only that, I'll tell you something. When I hold up this little, little, uh, system right here, it's actually a lot more lighter, smaller, than you actually play that. Exactly. This is how big the regular Switch is. Which, which is, and, hand me the light. This is how big the light is. Comparing the two, it's clear that the size is a lot bigger. Uh, 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 the size of the uh, size of the system is much bigger, but the screen is much smaller. How about what was this? The screen's a little bit bigger, but the system's a lot smaller. So really depends on your preference. Yep. Now there is one accessory, a uh, couple of accessories that me and Ethan would also recommend you getting if you're picking up a Nintendo Switch for the very first time. Mm -hmm. First of all. I would recommend the first controller that if you really guys don't want to get any of those Joy-Cons like those, first recommendation is get one of these, these ones right here. This is a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. What do you want to know? $79 for this bad puppy. So don't lose it. Trust yep. me, I ended up losing mine, and I had to pay 79 for this again. Oh. And by the way, same applies to the Joy-Cons here. You lose these, the nine, uh, the 79 for a pair. Yeah. A pair. Nintendo doesn't make these cheap. <laughs> so yeah, but get the Pro Controller. It's very useful and very handy. And actually, you're going to need it for a whole bunch of games. Oh yeah. E even, I dare say, you're going to need it for pretty much any fighting game you play. Because playing on fighting game, game on the Switch is kind of... Complicated. Yeah. Like, why well, you don't want to know how complicated it is to actually play a fighting game? If you only have that one little controller right there, guess what? This is what's going to happen to you. You will have a complicated time like this. Yeah, no kidding. Kid, kidding. Just like that. Eat an apple like that. Exactly. Which means... Which means, <clears throat> yeah, definitely don't get at that. A second thing I would recommend, and this is something I would immediately recommend, get a screen protector. If you're thinking, oh, I'll be fine. Actually, the few first times that we actually we got the switch, not our experience, but some of the people's experiences that happened to them. Even without a screen protector. So, me and Ethan were like, uh, Yeah, we better get a screen protector. Yup. So, word of advice. Get a screen protector. Actor, actor. I know you're going to be like, Yeah, I'll be fine, but... Uh, uh, trust me, you'll thank me later. You will thank me later. Yup. Um, so yeah, definitely get us. oh, there's my kickstand. Oh, one other thing about the Switch. Uh, so for some, uh, something you probably don't know is, the Switch actually has a removable kickstand, so if it breaks, all you gotta do is, hmm. hold on. There we go. There. Yeah. See? Uh, it pops right back into place. So you're good. Um, but yeah. Definitely recommend getting the Pro Controller if you don't have one. And a screen protector like I just said. Also, a cloth. You're going to need this to polish up your screen. I mean, you won't need it so much for your game cards unless you like your game cards being super shiny. Yep. But, uh, yeah. It's always good to have a microfiber cloth with you just in case. Of okay. course. Because you never know what could happen. Yep. Um, or you could use it to clean out your other, uh, your other game systems too. Like we've been using this to uh, clean out our discs. Trust yep. me, these are uh, trust me. This comes in big handy. Mm -hmm. uh, also, if your Switch has lost its kickstand, get one of these. These are covers that go over the regular Switch. So you uh, and it has a much better kickstand layout than the regular Switch does. And it's easier on the system, so yeah. Definitely get one of these if you're considering getting the Switch, but I would be careful if I were you 
you because if you keep this on too long, it could overheat your system. Yep. So only use it when you need, need a better kickstand in handheld mode. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. Also, get a case. Like this bad boy. This thing can hold all your stuff, a dock, a switch pole controller, all of it in here. I even have all my games in here. Have you gave my get for the switch? Goes in this bad boy. Yep. So um yeah. But uh that's all for um accessories and stuff that we would recommend. Now here's some uh other things that you need to know. No, like do's and don'ts. Do ooh, keep your switch which in a safe place. Like, if you're not using it, put it back in its dock. Don't just leave it laying out. Exactly. Because that's just an accident waiting to happen. Yeah. Or even worse, what if you spill a cup of water and it gets in the vents? That's a $300 system. Shoo! Yep. Right down the drain. Trust me, that hasn't happened to us yet. Nope. But uh, it's not advised to do so. Right. Uh, second thing, uh, do make sure that, uh, make sure that you put your controllers and stuff all in the place where you know they are. For me, I keep, keep my Pro Controller in its dock, in a special dock I have for my Switch Lite and the controller, so that way I can keep it, and I keep my regular Switch in its dock, dock. I also, like I said, keep all my games inside my game case, so that way if I need it, I have it with me. Yep. No matter wh what the situation it's always good to make sure you're prepared. Um, don't, uh, don't, don't share, uh, don't, uh, share a system unless you trust the person. So, for example, me and Ethan are on each other's switches. Yep. Uh, but we trust each other not to go into each other's accounts to purchase something unless we have the one's permission. Yep. So, if you're gonna share a switch with somebody, I would highly recommend not sharing it with anybody that you barely know, because what if they end up spending all your money? Which is bad. Yeah, trust me. One time, Ethan had his credit card stored someplace because he let me borrow it for something, and some unsneaky person tried to spend almost all the money out of his debit card. That was a sneaky thing to do. Someone must have hacked it. Tis, tis, tis. Or even worse, it locked out my PayPal. So I had to, uh, thankfully, I had a backup account, but. Uh, that was just frustrating. Well, it's a good thing I don't do PayPal that often. <laughs> yeah, thankfully. But, uh, lesson learned. Learned. Always make sure it's someone you trust. And always don't make sure you have a very good password, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a double lesson learned. Yep. Uh, let me see. Ah, don't flow your system. Yep. Now, I know this comes, obviously, but if you just put your system like, eh. Blah. Nintendo systems are indestructible, but not that indestructible. Yeah. Not to mention, the Switch is a little bit more delicate than your normal system. Yep. So... I want to make sure, sure, sure this thing is protected. Also, do not put your Switch in direct sunlight. I haven't seen what happens if you do, but Nintendo has said not to, so I'm going to listen to them and say, don't eat her. Trust me on that. All right. Um, oh, and one more thing. Now, for those who have played up until the Wii U, uh, Wii U you know that Nintendo Online has been free. Yep. <sighs> Sadly, the days that you guys are used to are over. Yep, now you gotta pay for it. Just like you do with the, the, the Sony systems and Microsoft systems. Indeed. But it's actually very cheap. For now. Uh, it's $19 a month, which is uh, $19 a year. Which is a steal considering how much Microsoft and especially Sony costs. Yep. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, you're not gonna be getting too much bang for your buck. You really get only a handful of Super NES and NES games, which, honestly, is it really worth it? Mm -mm. But, uh, other than that, that, you'll be able to play online like normal, so just a heads up. 
Now, it's the moment you've been all waiting for. So, we're going to split this up into three different categories. Personal games that me and Ethan will both recommend from each other. Obviously, the games that you must, and I mean must, have on your system. And some other smaller games, like indies or smaller series that we would recommend. Yep. So, I'll let Mr. Role Player and Fighter... Either expert play uh give his recommendations first. I'll just do the do the symbol ones for everyone first, then I'll get to the ones I think in my personal opinion first. So Alright, so the first thing guys, if you guys want an actual like um a better a better start out with a game, so the first when it first came out for the system, the first game I recommend you, if those of you really love this game and it's part of the one of the most popular IPs is definitely The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's a good recommendation. If you have not played Breath of the Wild, Wild, it's, uh, Wild or really any Zelda, then this is a good time to jump in. Breath of the Wild 2 was announced last year at, uh, E3, at E3 2019 for Nintendo, and Nintendo announced that there was going to be a lot more coming. Coming. So, uh, on that sequel for Breath of the Wild very soon. So, if you haven't played the first game, Go right ahead. But uh, it's DLC, so be sure to get that, too. Too. I believe the pass is $19, so um, I'll leave a link to all the games we recommend in the description below so you guys can check them out. Yep. But, uh, yeah. Above the Wild is a good recommendation, bud. Yup. So that's the first recommendation I give you. If you guys want, like, a fighting game or something, that this is just my personal opinion. The first, the first fighting game that I recommend you, once you ever do get... I'm not going to recommend you the most popular uh, popular fighting game. I would in this channel, but this time, if you want my personal opinion about not in Super Smash Bros. game, I mean, those of you who want games Super Smash Bros., that's fine too. Because, personally, I'm not going to recommend this to you guys. Because, personally, it's obvious. It's a popular fighting game. Yeah, but what is your personal fighting game for reference? Um, let's see, there's a lot of fighting games I know out there on Nintendo Switch, so, uh, let's see, there was, uh, one simple game, there was a few fighting games I know, oh, you know what, um, there is this one fighting game I would definitely recommend, if you have a chance, um, let's see, there's some Smash Bros, there's ARMS, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of which one there, <laughs> It's a good thing I have all of my game cases here. Okay. Ah! How about this one, bud? Oh, yeah. That is a, one of the recommended games. I have other one I know that is a good recommendation, too. This is Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. And the other fighting game I recommend you if you guys have a Nintendo Switch. And there, it's out on the other systems. For you guys, I recommend you get Dragon Ball Fighter Z. It's a, one of the one of the unique arc system arc work systems games, by the way, and it's like Blaze Blue and it's like Guilty Gear, but instead it's all Dragon Ball form. So yeah, definitely two uh, recommended fighting games for the Switch that Ethan would personally recommend. Man, as an anime fa fan himself. Mm hmm. Uh, let me see. Now RPGs. Okay, the, anybody who's a veteran of the channel probably knows which one he's going to recommend first. But uh, anything after that, that up to him. But I know which one he's going to recommend first, so I'll let him speak. Alright, so the first RPG game that I do recommend if you guys are, let's say, hmm, if you guys want a simple and easy RPG game that you guys wanted to get used to first. Okay, so let's see. How we how I find like a easy easy RPG game for you guys. Um Aha! I have an idea. How about give me a second? This one. Yeah, this is an easy simple game right here. It's called Mario Rabbits uh the the Kingdom Battle. Now before you say, wait, what? What? It's a rabbit's game? Ew, what are you thinking, Nintendo? Chill out! That's what we need to find at first, but when it was revealed... We need our words. Yep. <laughs> it's actually a pretty decent game. And it's a strategy, too, but... This is counts as RPG, by the way, because I noticed it, it looks like RPG. 
Yeah, definitely. I will probably count this as an RPG too, so definitely if you have not played this game, I would definitely recommend man, man playing it because it's a good RPG game. And I do love it personally myself, by the way. There's also a DLC pass based off of Donkey Kong in this game, so if you haven't played Mario Rabbids, it's great. Oh, and if you're a fan of XCOM, then this is pretty much a game game for you because it's pretty similar. It is. Now, the other RPGs, honestly, there's other RPGs out there that I would need you guys to check it out yourselves when you have the chance. Is the first, the one game I recommend if I have a chance, personally, as a Final Fan, of course, is that game. Final Monthly Houses. This is the latest installment from Nintendo, uh, in the, uh, the Final Monthly Main series. Series. If you've played any of the 3DS games, games that are just diving back in, this is your latest installment. Installment. The in the game, you can choose from three houses: house leaders, Edo God, which is what I chose, Clyde. Yeah, that's from Golden Deer, and that right there, the blue coat is Dimitri from uh, Blue Lions. And Edo God is from Black Eagles. So you have your choice of three houses. Houses and um. Your goal in the game is to raise your ho house and teach your students. Yes, you and me. In this game, game you actually have to raise an army yourself. Mm -hmm. Elf, elf, by bonding with your students and teaching them the way ways. Yup. Ways. And there's a war about, so it's up to you, you, you to change the future. Can't. Uh, now, the game is pretty much really playable because there's three houses, but just recently, as of this month, well, it's February still, but, uh, as of last month, Nintendo added the final DLC pack. Yep. Pack, which includes an annual path, and there's a secret path, too, so you have five, five whole stories to play. Yep. And uh, that should keep you busy for a while. Yep. Oh, but, uh, word of warning. This is not for anybody buddy, who is not who has not played an RPG. Uh, gee. If you've played an RPG at least once, then I will recommend this game totally. But if you have not played an RPG, you're gonna struggle with this one. Yeah, so honestly guys, that is uh, two strategy games we recommend. But the thing is, another game too, personally, hey those of you who are like new to the series. Find something new. Find something like it's not so popular. Don't worry. There is one. It's called Exobit Chronicles 2. Yes. Exobit Chronicles 2. 2. This game is one of the, uh, is actually one of the most popular games on the Switch in terms of RPGs. Now, I will warn you that there is one small catch. Uh, there is a certain requirement, requirement to get through the store, uh, get through certain parts of the story. Yep. If you've played any of the previous Xelbay Chronicles games, such as X or 2, uh, or the original Xelbay for the Wii, Wii, which, speaking of which, I'll get to that in a minute, um, then, yeah, I would recommend checking those out. I would recommend uh, maybe watching the gameplay of this one first to make sure it's the right one for you. But it is a great game. Game. If it wasn't that one requirement, I mean, if it would have given it a higher... Personal rating, but <sighs> Miles off. Why do you have to score something like that, man? How dare you? Uh, uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, and there's also a DLC expansion for it called the Golden Country, uh, Tale of the Golden Country. So be sure to check that out as well. It's definitely one of the good RPGs that I would recommend checking out. And Miles off is a great developer too. So, oh, yeah. even heck, they helped that was Breath of the Wild. Fun fact. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. All right, any other recommendations? Hmm, maybe one more game. Okay, so, guys, there's another game out there that if you guys don't want to, like, get so generic genres, don't worry, I have one. And I really love this game, and it's... I got it. This one. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of... Uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link of Alvin. That one right there, guys, it's a card game, and it's a strategy too, but it's more of a different way of the strategy instead of, like, you just pull out, like, cards and stuff. But honestly, though, 
it does follow up the greatest nostalgic moments of each series, like original Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, GX, 5Ds, Sexual, which I'm not a huge fan of, R5, and lastly, V-Rain, but promise V-Rain doesn't have its own story. Yeah. But it does have link cards, though, which is a complicated way to summon them, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> this is coming from a veteran. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, definitely check out those games that Ethan would recommend. Man, now it's time for my personal recommendations. Warning, I am a huge Sega nerd. So I'm going to be recommending pretty much any Sega game that you can get your hands on. Yep. Uh, but... To save you some trouble and to not go on a super, super long rant, there's three games in particular I want to recommend for you from the Sega, Sega side of things. And uh, let me just see if I can find it in my collection here. Uh, some, some forces. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so the three games I would recommend for you is Sonic Mania Plus. If you're a fan of classic Sonic games, this is the game for you. It's basically a game made by actual fans who have made ROM hacks for the series, and then one of them got bought aboard to make two ports for mobile and console. Console. Well, only one for console, but two. the other two are mobile, so... Um, uh, definitely has great art style, great level design, great music. Uh, and for those who don't know, you might recognize these two characters if you played Sega Sonic the Hedgehog on the arcade game, The Mighty and Ray. But, Ray, these characters have a long history with Sonic, Sonic, although they are not really well known amongst most, most, uh, newbies. These guys are actually... Uh, uh, these guys have actually only appeared in one other game in the series, and that is Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. Other than that, this is the second ever appearance in a Sonic game, but the first ever appearance in a mainline Sonic game, so that's pretty cool. Now, Sonic fans, do not hate me for this recommendation, but I also recommend Sonic Forces. I would say Generations of Colors, but those are sadly stuck on other consoles. So, Force is pretty much your only best bet to really get experience of modern Sonic. But it's a good game for what, what, uh, what I personally recommend. You can even make your own character in this, so yeah. It's like Fire Boom, it's like Fire Boom, Waking and Fire Boom Fates in ways. Yep. And finally, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. If you played Super Monkey Ball on the GameCube, GameCube, well, this is a little different. <laughs> Uh, this is actually a port of a Wii game game for the Super Monkey Ball series, but no motion controls. Trust me, I played the original. Now give us the motion controls. Trust me on that. So, uh, yeah, definitely recommend this one. Now, if you're into, per se, a more, um, chillax game, something that you can play with family or friends, obviously... I would recommend Mario and Sonic at the 2020 Olympic Games. It has a story mode for single-player fans, and it has plenty of Olympic game multiplayer players. So if you haven't played this one, well, what are you waiting for? Go play it! Alright, to tell you something, guys, I know the history from that game. That's going to be the most saddest history you need to know. I have to say it right now. For those who have played... Any of Alpha Dream's ga uh, games, and you probably know that name because they're the maker of the Mario, Mario and Luigi uh, games for the DS and the 3DS. Mario and Luigi RPG games. Yep. But there is bad news, though. Guess what? Probably like in last year sometime. Hate to break it to you, but it went <laughs> bankrupted, which means if they're bankrupted, which means they're gone. Sadly... So, it has to be a different company has to take over for those series, like this one, or the Mario and, and Luigi RPG games. So, just to warn you, it might be, might be your last until we hear another company takes over. Hopefully, hopefully, Intelligent Systems has worked on Mario RPGs before, like Paper Mario, so I wouldn't be surprised if they jump aboard again. But, we'll see. We'll, we will see. So... I hate to put it in a negative way for you guys, but 
I have no choice. Yep. All right, and those are pretty much all my personal recommendations. But of course, like I said, we have to also recommend some uh the games that you have to get. Mm-hmm. The ones that you must get. Now, Ethan only mentioned Breath of the Wild, which is kind of obvious. But there's another game that, of course, if you have not played, if you have not played a single Mario Kart game, well, one, I'm surprised, and two, two, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, no offense, Tendo, but you guys should have made that kind of game in the first place. Like what we're going to show you here. This is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, for those who skipped out on the Wii U uh, but heard of this game, actually, I'm kind of glad you did. Yeah. Yeah, guys, we're proud of you for it, if those of you did not. If you did, wah, wah, wah. you know what that means? You're going to go into the curse until hopefully you look for that game. <sighs> Sadly, I feel bad for you if you wasted your $50, $60 on that copy of version of the game. Because this one... For those who don't know, the Wii U version of the game, it's not the tracks, it's not the music, it's not nothing. All that is fine. Even the DLC is cool. Let's just say the battle tracks or battle mode, hate to tell you, but it's like an actual racing game. That's not supposed to be an actual racing game. It's supposed to be battle tracks. Exactly. <laughs> Tenna, what are you thinking? What is that in your minds? Are you lazy? <laughs> that's gotta be the first time I've seen Nintendo be super lazy with a Mario game. And that's me being honest! <laughs> me too! Uh, so, yeah. But this one, this one has an actual battle mode. Yeah, boom! Uh, and it has several different tracks from old school Mario game, uh, from uh, old school Mario Kart games, and several new ones too. Too. In addition, you also get Three guest characters from three different Nintendo series. Series. On the top here, you see Link. Link on the Master Cycle. The e Queens from Splatoon. No Splatoon 2 hairstyle, sadly. And Isabel, the most popular character in the Animal Crossing series. One of the popular characters. Uh, oh, and just so you know, you can also choose Breath of the Wild Link. Or you can choose the Villager from the Animal Crossing as well. As well as the girl Inkling from Splatoon. So, yeah, there's plenty of options for this Mario Kart game. Uh, so if you haven't played it, oh, then, yeah, what are you waiting for? Alright, now, obviously I can't go recommending the games without uh, recommending a Pokemon game. Mm-hmm. <sighs> but I'm not gonna lie, so far me and Ethan have been a little bit disappointed with the installment so far. Yeah... Well, to be fair, guys, to be fair, we know Pokemon since Diamond and Pearl. Well, that's for me, though. Yeah, I've known it since Gold, but we've been long-time Nintendo veterans, so I kind of think we have a bit of an excuse. Well, yes, so I gotta say, MC here knows Pokemon since Gold and Silver, and I know since Diamond and Pearl. So we've had a long history with this series, so to be let down by these two was kind of upsetting. So, honestly, guys, don't take our words for it. This is just our opinion. Yep. But, these are the two installments. If you're a fan, if you're just jumping back into the Pokemon series, whether it be via Go or something else, then here's Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Shoo. This one is a remake of Pokemon Yellow for the Nintendo Switch. Well, sort of. Instead of using a Pokechoir, sadly, you have to use a Pokeball Plus. Which is, well, but my Pokeball Plus is over there. Over there in that case. There you go. You gotta use this. Honestly, when I first played the game, I was like, Ah! How dare you, Tendo! Yeah, you actually used to sketch Pokemon. Pokemon. Like, you throw the ball. I've always wanted to do that, and they had to do it with this one! But unfortunately, they didn't do on the, the other installment game right over there. Unfortunately. Which is a waste of time, Tendo! Seriously, they could have made so much money off of it. But... I'm serious! Yes, yes, yes! If you guys put something like this, like in this game, you can make more money off of it. And not only that, but me and Ethan probably would have given a higher rating. But no! You can only be a chance for your Pokemon here to carry it around with you. 
It's stupid. I hate to say it. <sighs> That's just... No. But yeah, this is the latest installment. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Warning! If you're a fan of certain Pokemon, you might not be able to be transferred in here. Well, right now at least. To our DLC packs. Hold your pitchforks! Hold your pitchforks! Let me finish. Uh, you can get Pokemon traded into here, here, via Pokemon Home. Home? Home? If you own a DS game, you want to transfer all your Pokemon, and you're also going to need Pokemon Bank. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, just a small warning. You're gonna need you know, gonna need to make sure sure you have all your Pokemon transfer transfer transferred into this game uh, into Pokemon Bank first, because right now none of mo most of them are not compatible with the game game. But they might be for future installments. So who knows? We might be able to transfer stuff into the next Pokemon Mini Series game, which is probably gonna be a remake of either uh Diving the Pill or Black and white, since yep. I've seen a uh, black and white resurgence lately. Of course. But, uh, personal opinions on this, not a big fan. But, if you're into the Pokemon series and really want to catch up, these two installments are for you. Mm -hmm. Let me see what other games. Oh, obviously, I can't go without recommending any more Mario games, so if you need your Mario fix, I got two for you. This is Mario Odyssey. The latest main series installment in the Mario franchise. In this adventure, adventure, Mario goes around the Mushroom World to save Princess Peach from marrying. No, he didn't just go. He went beyond kidnapping this time. He f is forcing Peach to marry him. Honestly, guys, after I found out, I was like, I don't mind the idea, but honestly, if you guys... It's just, just like sometimes it relates to real life, honestly. It relates to me almost. I'm like... Yeah. I'm not going to say more, but honestly, it is a good game. I know it's a good game. But for me, though, hate to tell you the brutes, but it isn't my fair Mario game the whole time. But uh, that's just me, guys. Yeah. But if you are into Mario games, you'll be happy with this one. Now, there is a new mechanic, like all Mario games, there is a gimmick. Uh, Galaxy had the spin jump, 3D World on multiplayer, and the cat suit. Uh, uh, Odyssey has Cappy, who you see on the cover here. Uh, he transforms into Mario's cap, and he can use, you can use him to capture the new thing. Yep. Enemies. Oh, and for the first time ever, Odyssey actually has a, a song with lyrics. Yes, you heard me. Heard me. They're taking notes from Sonic. <laughs> Which is rare in most cases. Yep. Now, another game I would recommend, Mario Tennis Aces. This is a pretty decent tennis game. Yep. Um... Now, obviously, you'll, if you're playing on the Switch Lite, you're going to need separate Joy-Cons or separate Poker Draw for this. But other than that, you can pretty much play. Yep. So, if you haven't played this installment, installment yet in the tennis series, it's a return to form. If you, play, if you haven't played a Mario game since the GameCube, good. If you've pl played the Wii U, if you played the Wii U version and thought it was going to be great, I feel sorry. Real sorry. Yep. Ultra Smash is ultra trash. Yeah, I hate to say it, guys, but I think me and MC regret playing it. Totally regret spending fifty dollars and sixty dollars on that installment. To be fair, we were curious. That's that's an excuse right there. Fine excuse. But problem is though, spending sixty bucks for nothing. Yeah, I hate to tell you guys, but no offense. I'm not going to go offensive about this, but not all Wii U games are the best. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's even the mind's personal opinion. Not all Wii U games are terrible. We're not saying that. Oh, of course not. We have a couple favorites, too. Yep. Okay. Now, let me see. Um, Of course. Of course. Uh, it, wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be Nintendo if I didn't recommend a couple other, well, certain games that I... Oh. There, all, there is two games that me and Ethan would recommend dodging like the plague. 
Yep, I know several games, one game that I recommend to stay away from, my personal opinion. Don't try a game called Has Been Heroes. I got it, got it because of the hype, but when I played it, I was like, seriously? And I got it digitally, too, so I can't return it. Nah. Thanks, thanks a lot, guys. Guys, that's my very first ever video game purchase. Well, no, actually, make that third video game purchase. I've regretted it completely. Yup. So there is a gimmick. There is a there is a gameplay in the game. It just doesn't suit you. Yeah. No kidding. And another game out there that I know for a fact that I played. That's another game I regret touching, playing. Ah, it's, it's an indie game. I don't think it is. Fee. Reason why I say that because when you play the game, you just basically sing to some creatures and stuff. I mean, you got the unique ideas. I don't mind that. But the problem is, in the game, I just felt bored. It just feels like a boring game to me. If you like it, fair enough to you, but not even favorite. I'm sorry, guys, but I try my best to get into it, but for some reason inside me saying, that's not my type. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. Um, let me see. But do not worry. I have one more game, though, honestly. <sighs> MC knows. And it's from THQ. And it's a game called... Now, uh, and now, before you guys yell, hey, wait, you're gonna say that hey, uh, MC shouldn't play, uh, we shouldn't play Spongebob? About Alpha Bikini Bottom Rehydrated? Chill, 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 chill. Uh, that gets my childhood. Even, even I haven't even played it yet, so. I don't, no, 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 no. I don't say that game, guys. That's not the game I was going to say. Nope. It's the game called, I regret being hyped. Looking forward to, is Battle Chasers. I tried to warn him that the game was tougher than he's used to, but he didn't listen to me, so. Hate to say, it, guys, but the game itself. Ah, uh, why did I play the game in the first place? I mean, I get it because I was liking the game, but then after a few moments' time, then I realized I regret it. See, I tr This is why I said you skeptically be hyped about THQ games. They can be good, but they're known for known for the hardness, and they can be very terrible too. Yeah, especially lately. <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, I, like I said, I tried to warn him, but, yeah, it's his fault. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, if you're a Builder fan, well, in addition to, what, Chad? I mean, Knight, and mine, I, Chad, I, I mean, Craft, we also have, if you're a fan of Mario Maker 1, it's your sequel. I'm not a huge fan of it either, I'm sorry. But, I know this is going to be off topic with Nintendo, guys. <sighs> I will have to be honest myself. I'm sorry, but I'll be honest with myself. I think in that one particular game, it is like that, but it's a few game creator, is better than that. It's called Dreams from PlayStation 4. Now that's the game I prefer playing over that. I'm respecting Evie's opinion because I'm not not very into Mario Maker either, but yeah, it, 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 it's his opinion, so uh, fair enough. Uh, let me see. Obviously, there's one game that me and Ethan would totally recommend if you're a fan of multiplayer. In fact, there's three. Three more that we'll recommend, and then we'll go into the smaller titles that me and Ethan will personally recommend men, that not many people know about. The Sleeper Hits. Yup. Okay, so those three multiplayer titles, let me just get them. Do, 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 do,
Okay. All right. So, those three titles that we will recommend for you who are multiplayers fans are these three. Super Smash Bros., Splatoon 2, and Pokemon Tournament DXD. Yeah, uh, Pokemon... Uh, I mean, DX, sorry. <laughs> what do I say, DXD? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't ask. Let's just say it reminds him of a certain anime. Let's just say that, please. <laughs> All right. So, personal... Uh, so, in order, Splatoon 2. If you're a fan of shooters... Shooters, but I'm tired of the same old Call of Duty stuff. This is a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. Better than most of Acquisition's Call of Duty games. And personally, guys, I mean, I enjoyed it when it first came out, and and we had like we had like a splat fest and all that. Unfortunately, it's over. So now, honestly, guys, I end up selling the game myself. Yep. But, um, if you're a fan of shooter, ge shooter games, this is definitely the one for you. <sighs> Although, I will personally say, uh, we prefer Splatoon 1 on the Wii U over this one for the weapons, because they're garbage! Or even the specials! Oh, yeah, yeah. Another, another shooter recommendation from me, if you guys really want more competitively, more fun, more unique at Splatoon 2... Overwatch. You know, you're about to say, wait, Overwatch is on Switch? Yeah, you probably remember way back in the day that Blizzard said, oh, it's not coming to Switch because it'd be too hard. Yeah, there'll be guy who's directing Overwatch. And look who ate his words. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's on Switch now, guys. So you guys should definitely recommend, we will both recommend checking out Overwatch. It's definitely a good, good shooter. Yep, that's another recommendation. Alright, next up, Pokemon Tournament. This is a port of a Wii U game, game, which is a port of an arcade game. Yep, originally it was an arcade game, then it came to the system. I've been hoping, dying, to actually have it come to the console while I first know about the game. Speaking of which, uh, back in the Wii U, there was two times that me and Ethan, vice versa, had to convince each other to try games. For Ethan, that was Exile Bay Chronicles X because of him being a Shulk fanboy, just like he is with Deku. Uh, and then Ethan had to convince me to get this one for the Wii U. Because he was concerned about the certain one Pokemon he doesn't like is Raichu. Yeah. And guess what? He ate his words too. Yep. <laughs> But I only ended up being a trophy in this, uh, 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 assistant Pokemon in this game. Seriously, though? Though, though, oh, I'm sorry, guys. If you like Raichu, fine by me, but give me Pikachu any day of the week. <laughs> or even Pichu, for that matter. Uh, so, yeah. If you haven't played Pokemon Tournament, great game. But hard as heck. Power this is pretty much the only fighting game I don't uh, get so cocky with Ethan on because we're on a level playing field. Not only that, guys, to me, it's more like a combination of Pokemon and Tekken. That's why I love it. Yeah, he's a Tekken veteran. By the way, if you want to know his quick opinion on the latest installment, well, uh, here is his opinion. Opinion. Alright, guys. Let's just say, hate to tell you the truth, but the latest Tekken is unfortunately pfft, It's the worst Tekken game I played in history. Yep. Even when you even play Tekken 6 previous installment over it. Yup. I even love Tekken 6 over this. No kidding. So yeah. If you haven't played played on installment in the seat if you uh, if you uh, if you haven't played Pokemon oh, sorry. Pokemon Tournament. Please check it out. There's even some cool DLC characters, including one that should have been in the latest installment of Super Smash Brothers Sakurai. Sorry, Sakurai. You fooled yourself. You fooled yourself with with us and this Go Gamers channel. I'm seriously still not happy about it. Okay, next game I would recommend Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And it lives up to its name. 
It does, actually. It is ultimate. You know why it's ultimate? The roster. The difficulty. No wonder it's ultimate. Yeah. Uh, now, for those who are wondering who got cut, well, tell them, buddy. Who actually, got cut? Actually, you'll be all surprised. Nobody got cut. That's right, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was released for the 20th anniversary of the series, and for that, Sakurai brought back every single character, including DLC, including third party. But, he did finish the first season pack of a fire pack, but he's doing the two pack, but guess what, in his future after that, he's probably going to end up not doing any more of that. So, just a heads up, this is going to be your last chances, your last hopes, to have your fair fugging characters to appear in the in the in the Super Smash Bros. For now, at least. And not only that, well, we don't know if we're gonna get another Smash Bros. games or not. But if we do, I'll be like, what is he doing? No kidding. Uh, but yeah, everybody in Super Smash Bros. is here. In terms of newcomers, we have quite a couple. Uh, so. So, the first one that was revealed is Ridley, who finally made it into Smash Bros. after being called too big for Smash. And not only that, everyone's been dying, dying to have him in Smash Bros. Uh, then we have, well, Daisy, who made it as an Echo Fighter yep. for uh, Peach. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I don't mind her. Uh, let me see who was next. Oh, yeah, another character, uh, King K. Roo. Who fans were dying to be in the game. That's another fan, fan request character. Uh, oh, and the Inklings were, first, were in the first reveal trail for Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yup. So, honestly, I was excited. Oh, yeah. So, another thing, too, guys, that, that was the most surprising to me when I first found out in the, in the E3 years for, for Smash Bros., Guess who also appeared? I've so been so happy and up to that day is Crumb. Yes, Crumb. For those who don't remember, way back in the days of Smash Four, a certain trailer showed up, up with a certain uh, pilot, pilot slash driver, and to this day, even hates that person, a certain character. Man, I still have up to this day, and I still may have the revenge on that character of what he did to Crumb. <laughs> yeah, so Crumb, 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 uh, Crumb has finally made it into the game as an Echo fi Fighter for surprisingly Roy. Yup. But get this, he has Ike's up B. Well, yes and no. Yes, Super Smash Bros. side. No, that's from my actual problem weekend game. Yeah, so interesting. I interesting enough, I'm kind of surprised he get he's a uh, kind of a Roy clone, but he has Uppy, uh, Ike's Uppy. But then again, like Ethan said, uh, 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 Crumb himself can actually use that in the game. So yep, that's not shocking to me. Uh, another newcomer that came came into the game as the base were Victor and Belmont from the Castlevania series. Mm -hmm. We also have Ken. From Street Fighter, which... Yep, Echo is, for Ryu. And then, last but not least... It's Cinder War. That should have been the side eye, I thought, right? That should have been the side eye. Yeah, and Cinder War can be in Pokemon Tournament instead, just so you know. <laughs> no offense. <sighs> I, guess we'll no, I guess we'll never get him. Dang it! Maybe next time. Yep. Uh... Uh, now as for the DLC characters, me and Ethan know this off the top of our heads. Yep. Surprisingly, first announced in the Game Awards, which we all didn't see coming, at all. Yep. And ironically, this is a meme in, sit in this character series. Uh, Joker. Now, before you say, wait, from Batman? No, 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 uh, Joker from Persona 5. Yup. Now you're about to say, but that, that's a PlayStation exclusive. Uh, so was Cloud's game until it, oh, Square Enix announced it was coming to all systems. Yup. <laughs> so touche. And Persona 5S has just released in Japan on Switch, so double touche. 
Yes. Oh, and Persona Q2 has Joker and his crew in it, so triple touche. Try a better next time, I'm PlayStation fanboys. Uh, uh, but yeah, fans have been demanding for Persona 5 Royal or even the original Persona 5 to come to the Switch. Uh, not with being the usual stubborn pers people. People. They're not listening. Yep. So, uh, yeah. The second character that was revealed, revealed to be part of the DLC pass was... Oh, uh, let's see. It was Hero from Dragon Quest. Yes. Hero, me, uh, Hero from Dragon Quest XI, the latest installment in the Dragon Quest se series. Uh, Dragon, uh, Dragon Quest XI S is a version a version on Switch which has some extra stuff. Why Dragon Quest Regular Edition is on the PlayStation 4. Yep. So you can play it on either of those systems, but I recommend the Switch version. It has the better content, honestly. Uh, but yeah. So if you haven't played those two, two, whoa. Uh, have you have you haven't played that? Yep. Uh, but he actually has several different versions of him from several other Dragon Quest games. So if you're a fan of Dragon Quest, there you go. You have your Dragon Quest main. Third character revealed, and this one's gonna be surprising for all those who are longtime Leia fans. Yeah, me though. No offense. I wasn't surprised when it first revealed. I wasn't. I wasn't surprised actually. I hate to tell you that. And uh, those characters would just happen to be Banjo and Kazooie. No, no, I'm not lying. I am honestly not lying. Lying. I. I could even pull up my copy of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate right now and show you proof that Banjo Kazooie are indeed in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah, honestly though, guys. When it first when it first came out in the trailer, I was like, "Yep, I'm not surprised." <laughs> I was not surprised when it first got revealed. You know why? I've been on the internet so much, and I've seen people have been begging, 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 begging for that character so much. No kidding. So no offense, but if I didn't hear all this, I would be surprised. But when I see that, no. Definitely. Now, people said that the only way we were going to get that is if Steve was in, uh, side of Smash Brothers. You know, Steve from Minecraft. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm going to swallow, swallow that pill because of Fortnite being a bigger hater for two nowadays for me and Ethan. But, honestly, kind of glad that didn't happen yet. Yup. Now, Master Chief in Smash. Okay, now that's wishful thinking. Yeah, that one is going to be wishful thinking, but honestly, I don't mind it because at least it is in one of the game series I don't, I don't hate on. Yeah. Third character will be Terry from SNK. If you've never heard of SNK, can't say I blame you. Yeah, for me though, when I first first revealed, I was like, that's disappointing. But he likes the character, don't get him wrong, but he was just a little disappointing, okay? Yep. But he likes the stage that he came with, though. So. Yeah, I do. But, uh, yeah. That's for another video, which maybe later on, on we can explain I mean, why we liked the, that stage. Maybe like a best stages vi video and worst stages video at one point. But, uh, yeah. So, that is another character that we definitely recommend if you have not put, uh, uh, if you have not. And then, the final character that was just revealed... Two months ago. And that one's another, another, makes me happy up to that, that day. But the fan base is super salty. Me? Eh, I'm just gonna brush it off. It's like, I hear the most complaints like no other. It's Belmont. It's, uh, Blevlin from... <laughs> and it's from the latest Fabum Game installment. Yes! Yes, you hear me. These two. Yeah, honestly, when it first came out, I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> because I'm gonna say the Avatar character in that game is actually way better than like almost the rest of the five five of them avatars. Sorry, Robin, but you got demoted. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, Ethan's a bit of a fan of fanboy, so of course, of course, he'd be excited about this. But, uh, honestly, honestly, I do feel a little bad for the Smash fan base. We got a little too much on the Fire Emblem saturation. 
a little too much. I know, I know, I admit that too, but the problem is though, since I am a little more of a um, bias, I'm not going to regret every everything when I, when I feel about it. Yeah, I don't think he even totally regrets it, but he does, he's not going to lie when he says, next time, check, if you do do the next game, check, I tone down on the foul bomb, please. And I'll, and I'll also try to tone down the foul and bias. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, you're not necessarily helping the series here. Yep. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Definitely check out Super Smash Brothers if you have not, if you have not, not like you can said, there's a second DLC pass on the way, so be sure to check it out. Mm-hmm. Now, another thing we need to talk about, uh, another thing, the last thing we're going to talk about for games is some of our underappreciated the ones that me and Ethan personally think that not many people play. Yeah. So, Ethan, you go first. One game that I see that not a lot of people play, and I hear a few, is an indie game called Snake Pass. Oh, Snake Pass is such a good game. Good indie game, too. But, hard as heck. I actually even beat it, too. Uh, yeah. Warning. Last couple levels are gonna be... You gotta really focus really hard for it. Uh, or even as Ethan has told me, think like a snake. Yup. Uh, it's a very good game. Game. Very really relaxing. Well, up until the last couple of levels. Yep. But still, pretty relaxing. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend checking those. Out, uh, checking that game out if you have, haven't already. Another game that I would recommend, Thumper. Mm-hmm. Now that game's a rhythm game. You play as this beetle, who is going uh through some kind of world. I guess is the best way to explain it. Yeah. And you got to move to the beat. Yep. Gotta be careful though. Uh, uh, you only have two lives. Yep. Oh, well, actually, two layers of protection. You lose those, you're done. So, yeah, warning. Another game, Snipper Clips. Yep. Snipper Clips is one of my personal favorite party games on the Switch. Mm-hmm. And if you're thinking about getting one to Switch, We did play it, actually. It was... Yeah. Actually, our opinion actually got a little bit more higher, but still not high enough. Yeah, so... Good try, but still wouldn't recommend it. Snipper Glimpse is still ten times better. Yep. Uh, Let's uh, see. Another game that are a bit more underrated and it's unappreciation. Okay, let's recommend this. The Nintendo Warrior Games, another Warrior game I recommend. I just play myself. One Piece Pie Warriors 3. Yes, definitely check out those Warrior games. They're much easier if you play the Kumi Tecmo Zeta Warrior games. Games, they're much easier than the standard ones. Each, uh, Hyrule Warriors, Five Warriors, and Pyro Warriors all are based off of their series. The Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition is actually a port of... Hyrule Warriors for Wii U and Hyrule Warrior, Warrior Legends for 3DS. Yes, it includes Breath of the Wild costumes as well as all the other content from the other games. Yep. So it's a pretty packed game. Uh, Fire Emblem Free House... Uh, Fire, Fire Emblem Warriors. Fire Emblem Warriors is based off of the Fire Emblem series, so it has definitely some of the Fire Emblem strategy elements in there. Yeah, it did have combined with Awakening, Fates, and... Bit of a show dragon. As well as uh, Binding Blade with Linus in it. Who is my top number one right here? Four Fallen series. Uh, so, yeah, definitely check them out. Oh, and Celica too. Two, from uh, Shadows of Akira, aka Fire Emblem Yep. Uh, but, um, yeah, definitely check out that one. And One Piece Power Warriors 3. Now, if you have them, uh, now this one's actually based off of the anime itself. So if you haven't watched the series yet, I would dodge this one like the plague. Yup. So honestly, honestly, if you guys are curious, go ahead and try this one. Because this is going to be a good start for you guys to get into One Piece in general. That's for me because, of course, of course though... <laughs> Of course, we watched the anime before the game, so, so you know. Yeah, just so you know. 
But uh, yeah. So definitely check out those three games. Ga games. They're very underappreciated in our personal opinion. Uh, let me see. Is there any more on our list that we forgot to recommend? Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to know which ones. Uh, let's see. Let's see. There should be other games I know I like. Hmm. Don't worry, guys. We got all of this. We just gotta have to. Um. I guess. Guess the last thing we can. Uh, and if you think of something, buddy, buddy, then let me know. But I guess the last games we can recommend are games that are upcoming for Nintendo Switch from both first and third party. Yup. Uh. So in terms of upcoming games. We don't have that many, actually, from Nintendo themselves. The only two that we know of, know of as of right now that have been been announced have been Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is coming in three weeks' time, and then um, Exobe Chronicles Definitive Edition, which is pretty much a remaster of somewhat, what, including cut content from the original Exobe Chronicles. Which is going to be nice for the newbies. And that way people can play Exobe Chronicles 1 and 2 back-to-back. Back, back, mm -hmm. back, back. Just so long as Nintendo doesn't screw over the fans and add DLC on top of that. Yup. That is for me, though. When I first found out, I was like... What do you think, Nintendo? Okay, I can understand why you're doing it for the newbies. I can understand that. But for me... Now, that's not to say he hates uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. He actually loves it, but... Yeah, he was expecting a sequel. <laughs> no, well, another one. Xenoblade Warriors. <laughs> patience! Patience! Patience, Shulk boy. Uh, <laughs> Shulk fanboy. You'll get get, get your Xenoblade Warriors when Kumio Techno's ready. Right. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, those are two... Two that we recommend. But a couple of third parties we can recommend are One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. Which is I'm going to get soon. But, uh, which is based off of all of the, most of the modern arc of One Piece. Yup. Uh, up to Whole Cake Island, which is the recent arc, arc that just ended. Yup. And then now it goes up to the latest arc called Wallow Country Arc. Yep. So definitely check... That one out. Uh, check uh, check that one out too. Um, let me see. Any uh, another underappreciated, in my personal opinion. I know you guys are gonna go. Come on, dude. Why are you recommending us this game? Hold your horses. I right, I'll get this over with. It's my hero one justice, and it's gonna get a sequel game surprisingly. Yeah, it was uh, surprisingly because it did so well. <laughs> Not only that, okay, I know you guys are going to go, why did you love this game so much? Guys, I watched the anime before the game. Cut even a little slack. Slack, it's not his fault he likes Deku so much. <laughs> not only that, not only that, the game, it's actually not that terrible. I mean, it's like Naruto... Ultimate Ninja Storm games, but to me though, it's still good, even though there's no English dub for it. I can understand you guys don't like this, but for me though, nah, I'm gonna brush it off, it's nothing. Seriously, he's a big weed. I'm not gonna regret every word that I hear from you guys. Uh, but I understand how you guys feel, though. Though, so, because Bandai Namco has screwed over fans before. Just look at Dragon Ball Fighter Z. We're just getting on to Instinct Goku now, when it should have been in the second one! I know! <laughs> how dare you, Bandai Namco! <laughs> but no! They had to add GT uh, Go Goku instead. Which is a, which is a, least, least fair of them on the fan base. GT. Thanks, Ben and Amco. Amco, I feel real loved. I had to buy a third pass now. Yeah, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Thanks, uh, seriously, though. No, definitely like it out. Oh, one more. More RPG we will both recommend. This is the last game we'll recommend for you. Tales of Vasperia. Yep. Definitive edition. 
Yep, that's a good one. Now, we actually both own the game. Well, Ethan doesn't yet, but I do. <sighs> Guilty as charged. We haven't gone around to playing it yet. That is a big part of our backlog list. But, seriously, can Nintendo take a believer, believer on games? Games for me if we can actually get around to playing it for once? Yup. Plus, I want to play, play more Yari's story. Yup. It but, is cool. One, you know, it's not an easy game. Nope. So, yeah, definitely recommend those. Uh, oh, and yeah, that's all for our Switch starter guide. Let us know in the comments below if you have any other tips, tips and tricks. I might pin those to a uh, comment or something. Right. Uh, and if you guys have any tip, if you Switch veterans have any tips too, please share them with our uh, newbies below. Well, it'd be appreciated. Or if you have anything else that you recommend to uh, me and Ethan that you want us to play later, let us know. Mm -hmm. No, we're always open to games. Mm -hmm. Well, except for Fortnite or Call of Duty. Well, Call of Duty's not on the Switch, so can't count. Yep. <laughs> but oh, on the 10 Switch wise. Yeah, but uh, Fortnite, don't even try. I played it before, so you know. Me too. So, that's a zero for me. Oh, and Minecraft as well. Just saying. And I played it too, so you know too. Uh, so, yeah. Now, other than that, though, me and Ethan are totally open to play anything else. Yep. So, uh, yeah. All right. This is, that's all for now. This is yours truly, DJ Music Clues. Ethan and signing out. And happy anniversary, anniversary, Nintendo Switch. Yep. And good, good luck to you, Tendo, for your next successes.